c4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, knight c3, e6. And now we will check this sharp line, which was played against me as well. This move this d4. This is temporary sacrifice of the pawn. And here we have exactly choices of two moves. The choice of two moves. One is very safe. This is cd4. This is main line. And the other one is uh, very sharp. It's uh, to take the pawn with the knight. Uh, if knight d4, of course they take knight d4, cd4, and knight b5. That's their main idea of this line. To attack. Uh, to to threat this, uh, threaten this check on d6 and also to attack this pawn on d4, double attack. On knight b5 here, we play queen b6, bishop f4, e5, and on bishop d2 we have this very nice move, d5, with the idea after bishop d5, a6, queen a4, bishop d7, that was exactly the reason of this sacrifice on d5. With uh, after queen a3 bishop f8, we already protect from all these threats. So queen f3 long castle. Already white has to think about his pieces. Um, so knight b5, it's more or less clear. Uh, another possibility for him is to play uh, not knight b5 but uh, knight e4. This is much more complex. which we should meet with d5, of course, cd5, ed5, queen a4, and king f8. So until this moment is clear, we have a pawn up, but we have bad position of the king on f8. So how they can try to attack it? If they go queen a3, then we go after queen e7. He has already problems with the uh, holding the queens on the board because after knight d6 this knight is pinned we, should, we could play here d3 threatening the mate on e2 of short castle and now bishop e5 knight b5 exchanging and after d2 at least we will have equal play um, much more interesting for black instead of, for white instead of uh, queen a3 check is to play here knight c5. This is really very complex analysis. I will give you a few ideas. The main idea of course is to make a room for the king. It's to play here bishop f6. And now, let's say he starts to attack this pawn on d5 with queen b3. On queen b3, we should play knight e7, bishop h6, knight e7, bishop h6. The only way for him to not let us to finish development with king g7, bishop g7, and bishop d2. Yes, on bishop d2, maybe the best what we can do is to repeat the moves, bishop f6, bishop h6 is just draw, if he takes on b7, then we are already overtaking the initiative after queen c7, knight a5 and king g7. We finished the development, which is important, it's very important in this position. And uh, next move will be queen b6. Also strong was after knight b7 immediately queen b6. And uh, we have equal pawns, but good play for black. So this is briefly the the ideas of knight d6, of knight takes d4 after 6 d4. And uh, the safe the safe way of playing this position, of course, is take with the pawn on d4. After which. Uh, he can go knight b5, we go in the center d5, cd5. And now I remember I played myself queen a5 check here. 
which is Markovsky, and I won the game in Koshalin. And uh, but uh, finally, now the assessment after this Queen A5, it's in a white favor. It's well known in the theory. I will not bother you with that tons of theory. And uh, I would say that here the E D5, it's good enough move to have a decent play with Black. Sometimes, sometimes, if we are better player, even can play for win. For example, if they go here, short castle, knight g7, knight bd4, short castle, bishop e3, rook e8, interesting hidden idea, but the main, of course, the main idea is clear that after all exchanges so on d4, pro probably this pawn on e2 will be hanging. If he does see it and plays rook e1, then bishop g4 again, the same pressure on e2, so it's not so easy for him to escape from this pressure. If we take on c6, we take, of course, with the knight. We don't get this uh, weak pawns c6 and d5. We, we develop our knight to a good square, and uh, especially that we control very well now the d4 square. And this especially can be felt after, because if they play knight d4, queen f6, now he cannot hold the square anymore. After knight c6, b6, he it's a completely different situation. Now this pawn on b2 is unprotected. Rook c1, rook c8. h3, bishop f5. And on g4, bishop e4. Uh, black got advantage. This was Macnab Hammer 2010. Instead of this rook e1, he can try queen d2. But then again, we can play this position for win such a move like knight f5 we attack on e3 and on d4 at the same time using the fact that rook is attacking on e2 and this bishop sometimes can make pressure on b2 after knight f5 bishop f5 rook fd1 queen f6 again of course we would like to swap this pawn d5 for the b2 and with a very good initiative and play for black this was maletin zvekins of 2009 black is better this we discussed when they play 9 short castle. We can also discuss if they take immediately knight bd4. But uh, that's not makes that big difference because after knight g7 short castle, short castle, we practically get, get the same position. So let's uh, get a, a general uh, conclusion on this uh, move 6d4. This is very sharp. If you really want. Uh, to suffer for a pawn and uh, for go for complications, then of course you should take this knight on d4, knight d4, c d4, and play this position uh, where still white has this draw. So I wouldn't recommend it so much. Just if you want to confuse your opponent and you know that, or you know that opponent doesn't feel comfortable in the position without material. But as the best, uh, the, the the best line for black here, of course, is to take with the pawn on d4 and then on knight b5 to go very fast with d5 and to finish the development black, white is taking back this pawn and it looks like they have this uh, isolate black has isolated pawn has problems but it's not true because after a very fast knight f5 uh, rook e8 knight f5 and queen f6 we take the control over d4 square over the e file and we open this big diagonal black square diagonal for our pieces which uh, gives us some chances for uh, to play for advantage for win